Hey Trailblazers, you're about to meet a very wacky friend. His name is Wacky William, and sometimes he gets really confused about what to do in the art room. But don't worry, we're going to see clips of what not to do and what we should do in the art room. So right now, I'm sitting like Mona Lisa. That means my eyes are facing the front or facing the speaker. My hands are listening, they're in my lap. They're not touching anybody. I'm sitting up nice and tall and I'm ready to listen and learn. Whee! Ha ha! So when we're sitting on our stool, it's really important that all four legs are touching the floor. My bottom is on the stool. What I'm not doing is my knees are not on here because I could fall and that would really, really hurt. So make sure you're always practicing stool safety. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, that means I'm supposed to clean up. Nah, I'm gonna ignore it. I, I'm, I really wanna finish this really fast. I'm gonna just finish it. It's gonna be okay. Wait, is that an Amazon package? Oh, I remember, that means it's time to clean up. But when I do, I can't just leave all of my mess. I need to make sure I put everything away nicely and respectfully. Back how I found it when I got to my table. I'm gonna double check everything that it's nice and neat and take care of my artwork. I'm playing basketball. I'm playing basketball. Ball. All right, let's talk about trash because we're all gonna have some trash. Now, what I don't wanna see in the art room is that, all okay? right? That is not treating the art room respectfully. The good news is that there are a lot of trash cans all around the art room. There's one right here by Miss Chen's table, but there's also one over there by the door, and there's also one by the sink. So you have lots of choices on where to throw your trash. Dirty hands, let's clean it up. Over here, there's one sink and there's another sink over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this sink. Make sure you turn the water on just a little bit. You don't need it too high. Go ahead and use some water, get some soap, and remember, scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Count the alphabet. When you're done washing your hands, make sure you turn the water off and use the little handle to get your paper towels. And remember, the paper towels always go in the trash. Now something to just kind of keep in mind is that every time we come to art, we might not be washing our hands. Sometimes we're just going to use pencil and paper and there might not be anything on our hands. So in scenarios like that, you would just need some hand sanitizer to clean your hands. But if you look at your hands and they're sticky, there's paint, there's marker, and you feel like you really need to wash that off, then please go to the sink and clean your hands. Woo! I think it's time to line up. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. When it's time to line up and Ms. Chen has called your table color, we don't just leave our stools and start lining up. We need to push in our chairs first or our stools and then find the blue rainbow tape and find a spot and start lining up. And at the end of art, you should leave it better than you found it. It should look super squeaky clean, almost like you never had art class. Now these are just some of the few things that Ms. Chen is looking for in each art class. One thing that I want you to keep in mind for art this year is that being a good artist does not always mean drawing well, being good at painting, making beautiful artworks. What's really important to me, as well as those beautiful artworks, is having a kind heart. So helping others, making the right choices when Miss Chen is not looking. Those are just some of the few things that also help you make a good artist. It's not always about what your artwork looks like. So just keep that in mind, and I want you to all have a really fun year of art together with me. Ba, do, bu, di, do.